Hello and welcome to this Iron or After Self Build tutorial. In this video I'm just going to speak quickly about the basic technique of heat sealing and I've just got some little scraps here that I'm going to seal together just to give you an idea of what's involved uh, when you seal them with a iron like this. Um, you always want to seal the shiny side, that is the TPU side, to the shiny side. So that can either be by folding it over shiny side to shiny side or by taking one piece and putting it to another piece shiny side to shiny side. So I'm going to place that on there and you must always iron on the non-shiny side. If you iron onto the shiny side it's going to melt and stick to your iron. So here I am placing it on top of this one shiny side to shiny side and I'm ironing from the non-shiny side and I'm just going to show how you can tell if you've got a good seal. So you'll see straight away this bit is still sticking up and as it seals more it starts to stick down and will no longer peel up. I haven't given it enough heat yet and you'll be able to see that I can still peel that apart and nothing is damaged. Um, so that's starting to activate but it hasn't completely. So that needs more heat and again you'll see this little corner here starts to stick down and if I try to pull that apart, you've got to be very careful because this retains the heat still pulling apart but you can see there that it started to activate and it's actually pulling the TPU off the fabric itself so a little bit more and that would be perfect Obviously when you're sealing you wouldn't go around testing it like this as this can potentially damage it and I just want to demonstrate. Okay so you can see I've given that a lot more time and therefore it's had a bit more heat and I'm pushing quite hard but not over the top, putting a bit of force through the iron. Now. I'm fairly happy that that's going to have been sealed well, so I'm just going to give that a bit of time to cool down, and once it's cooled down, we're going to see how strong that bond is. Okay, so I've let that cool down now, and you can see it's quite rigid where it's double layered. Um, and just to demonstrate the strength here, I'm really giving it some force there. If we try and put it apart this way, I mean, there's not much to hold on to, but. I just can't get that apart. So that's the kind of strength you're gonna get from your seams on your boat. Um, I'll just run through another quick demonstration uh, to reinforce what I've just said and make sure uh, you're clear on the signs of when it's sealing. Okay, so I'm just going to demonstrate uh, the process again with these two pieces. I should mention that I've been working with this iron uh, for a while, so I know what temperature is good. Uh, when you choose what iron you're going to use, you should make sure it can maintain a temperature of around 200 degrees uh, and upwards, because that's the temperature required to activate the TPU, uh, and just test on scraps like this before you start working on your pack graft, because um, it's really important that you know you're going to get enough heat and your iron isn't too powerful that you're just going to melt the fabric. So here you see it naturally wants to lift off and that's going to help us know when we're sealing. After a while you'll just get the hang of things and you'll know when it's sealing down but to begin with you're going to it's going to take some experimenting so you can figure out when you've got a reliable seal. So the first thing you'll notice is that it stops lifting up because it's just started to tack. See this corner is still lifting a bit and it tacks down as the TPU is activated. Just giving some medium force through the iron, pushing down a little bit but not too hard and just ironing evenly around the section that I'm on. And 
and I'm happy that that's going to have had a good seal. Just going to leave that for a second to cool down and then we'll try and pull it apart to see how strong it is. Okay, so this is cooled down now and just to give an idea, oh, I can get the corner up there where I haven't sealed to the corner very well, but still, as soon as I've got that, it's just not going any further. And that really is quite a strong seal. That corner I haven't sealed properly, I could always go back and put that down. And then that's going to be sealed now. Okay, so this has just been a super basic introduction to heat sealing the thermoplastic polyurethane coated nylon fabric. Uh, I talk about it in more detail in our self-build tutorials that show you exactly how to build your own ultra lightweight boat for backpacking. If you're interested in that, you can view those videos. There's also more information available on the Iron Raft website at www.iron-raft.co.uk.